back with another message back with another video if you're new to the channel i thank you for joining thank you for becoming a part of the family i'm trying to give you guys a rundown in less time i usually take a minute gotta give it to you though man if you don't know and you just joined you just saw a video of mine you don't know that i'm an artist i'm available on all streaming services spotify apple music youtube amazon latest album hidden hills 2 is out hidden hills 1 is out Boundless is out countless of music videos if you could just go give me an opportunity a chance you don't have to like it i just ask that you give me the chance if you do like my music i would appreciate it if you could just hit follow hit subscribe smash like all that good stuff show support however you can it's free i thank you i love you today's message and video is one that is vital for all chosen ones out there who have been through spiritual attacks let's get straight into this one man let me explain something to you people are not going to understand you if you try to explain to them that you are experiencing spiritual warfare okay and let me just be the first to tell you that it's one of the main things that you're going to be judged on it's something that is going to cause a lot of people to come up with a conclusion about you when you are in the midst of spiritual warfare the way that god showed me this is the way that a non-believer looks at your warfare chosen one or somebody who is a believer but they're carnal about it they're not um you know on fire for god or they don't understand how this walk is so much more spiritual than it is physical god showed me how you know a lot of the times people can pass judgment on you for experiencing some of the stuff that you go through when you are enduring an attack sent at you by the enemy god showed me how a lot of this stuff is clinically diagnosed even you know in our society as certain mental illnesses certain things and honestly it could be you experiencing spiritual warfare from the enemy but it could look like you're depressed when you're going through a witchcraft attack when you're going through spiritual warfare on the surface somebody that doesn't understand it can look at you and think that you are dealing with depression you can look or come off as fatigued a lot of the times when you are experiencing warfare a lot of fatigue laziness right people can see you fighting to do the normal things throughout your day because when you are going through witchcraft it is extremely tough to get small things done okay the enemy likes to make you feel heavy a lot of the times these witches and these warlocks like to give you the spirit of you know heaviness and delay a lot of the times right so people that don't understand this they're gonna begin to pass judgment on you chosen one and they can make an assumption that oh you're just lazy oh you're just making excuses you're crazy you could be experiencing headaches short fused right you become more short fused when you are under a spiritual attack when you are going through witchcraft you literally aren't yourself you see a lot of people aren't going to understand this though until they experience it themselves so you got to understand not to cast your pearls before swine because the more you try to explain things of the spirit to somebody who's carnal, all it's going to do is drain you, cause confusion, cause persecution, arguments, bickering, all these things that, you know, are not necessary or not something that we need to deal with, with all we're already experiencing. A lot of the times when you're going through a spiritual attack, there's no physical explanation for what you're experiencing, right? You could even go to the doctor's. Say you're going through warfare for the first time. You could even go to the doctor's to get checked out. And you feel a certain type of way in your body and there's no physical explanation for what you're feeling the doctor can say hey you're healthy as a horse everything checks out you're good but you don't feel good right you have a headache you're feeling nauseous you're feeling fatigued depressed all these different things and they'll tell you that nothing is wrong you see health wise there's no physical explanation that lets you know that it's a spiritual war going on right this is a spiritual attack until somebody else experiences firsthand what spiritual warfare looks and feels like they are going to continue to make assumptions about you, Chosen One. They continue to come up with conclusions, especially for my men out there. Society has projected this standard onto all men that we must be a certain way. And if you show anything outside of that, you're going to get talked about. A lot of people are going to say that you're not really a man. You're lazy. You're crazy. If you're fatigued, if you're going through depression, if it's hard for you to accomplish small things throughout your day, better believe the persecution is going to come with it. But it's okay, right? It's okay because at the end of the day, all that matters is you having that relationship with Christ and him understanding what you're experiencing, even if others don't get it yet. Normal task, when you are under a spiritual attack, I'm talking normal everyday tasks, taking a shower, waking up, cleaning your house, washing your car, whatever it looks like for you, going to work, all these things, normal tasks are extremely tiring and draining when you are under warfare. When you are going through witchcraft, you are extremely sluggish, 
you're heavy, you're not even yourself a lot of the times. And you see, this is the goal of the enemy. It's to get people to perceive you when you are under warfare. So they don't see who you are when you're not going through a spiritual attack. A lot of the times these witches and these warlocks, they love to get you, you know, going through something, right? Battling in the spirit realm and then have people come around you, whether that's your family, your friends, your boss, you have a platform, whatever the case may be. So people can experience you while you're going through the witchcraft, if that makes sense. Instead of experiencing you when you're not going through a spiritual attack because they want to basically give you an identity in their witchcraft if that makes sense a lot of sluggishness and heaviness you could even try to clean your diet up when you're going through spiritual warfare like i have right you could say okay this might be because of my diet a lot of people have physical explanations for you you're going through these things like say you have a headache and nausea or say you're fatigued say you're depressed you know there's people out there who will say well just take some supplements and there's nothing wrong with that they have a good heart posture it's not like they're um, not believing you but even if you take these supplements and you clean your diet up you can still go through spiritual warfare that causes you to be sluggish heavy fatigued looking lazy sounding crazy being angry short fused all these different things right it's spiritually rooted that's the thing if you try to do things in the physical to fix the spiritual you're doing things backwards so before you take a supplement before you get put on a medic a medication before you clean your diet up what must we do we must put on the full armor of god pray against this stuff right because a lot of the times that is the goal of the enemy is to do things in secret such as witchcraft wage war on you and then have the public or whoever is around you see you while you're in the midst of your warfare so they can come to a conclusion that that's who you are what god showed me don't cast your pearls before swine if people don't understand that you are going through a spiritual attack and a lot of people won't and they want to persecute you or make assumptions about you or you know judge you or whatever the case may be do not try to explain yourself to them if you've already tried once they don't understand it and they want to come up with physical explanations want to try to put you on the medications get you to the doctor have you see a counselor all these things and they just want to assume because they can't comprehend what's going on in the spirit do not cast your pearls before swine man you're just going to waste a little bit of energy you do have while you're going through warfare try explaining yourself you know, I'm guilty of this. Don't explain yourself to people who don't even want to comprehend you. People that don't even really want to begin to comprehend God and you. And they will come around you just to, you know, stir up some drama, just to have some gossip, just to have something to talk about for the day. Do not try to explain yourself to people who do not want to understand you. When you are experiencing spiritual warfare, if you're trying to wake somebody up to what you may be going through or what you have experienced, if they can't comprehend it, if they're not walking after the ways of the spirit, they're not going to comprehend it because they're caught in the flesh. The word of God speaks about this. Look at it as like food, right? Somebody's not going to understand what something tastes like or, or experience in a certain dish until they actually have it themselves. You could explain it to them all you want. You could try to get into detail and, and explain the taste and the flavoring and the seasonings and someone could kind of understand it but until they actually have the meal themselves they're not going to understand what you're talking about the goal is to get you to make decisions in your warfare man let me just tell you right now these witches and these warlocks these narcissistic folks out here evil doers the enemy his people it wants you to act out in the warfare that's the whole name of this game they'll wage war on you right the enemy people who your haters your doubters your mockers your naysayers they will wage a war against you in the spirit or even in the physical whether that's monitoring spirits stalking you doing witchcraft on you speaking word curses over you thinking ill thoughts and then they want you to act out when you begin to experience the warfare so you make what unwise choices man unwise choices have you fall to temptation when you're going through warfare fog your mind attack your faith manipulate you to control you man want to paint out this character in this image of who you are why you're experiencing something they're doing to you behind scenes the devil wants people to see you while you're going through warfare he doesn't want people experiencing you when you're not enduring an attack right because he understands that your light shines bright he understands that you have a calling a purpose the devil understands and people around you understand that you are chosen by the most high you have a purpose and a call on your life and you're willing to you know take action based on your faith they don't want to see that happen for you so a lot of the times they're sending this witchcraft that you chosen one so you make unwise choices so you give up on god so you give up on yourself so you act out so you get angry so you get upset right going through an attack compared to when you're not is night and day you see and this can also give off a certain mental health disorder right and that can look like bipolar depression one minute you can be feeling really great really up 
amazing flying high and if somebody wants to do some witchcraft on you that you you know are around or somebody's paying somebody to do this craft on you next minute you could crash and burn and be into a depression within a matter of an hour people won't understand this though they'll call it for what it is physically and they'll try to get you hooked to physical fixes right whether that's pills you know drugs alcohol sex trying to fill a void especially when you're going through an attack you know when you're going through oppression compared to when you're not it looks like you're bipolar a lot of the time chosen one that's why you get judged the way you do hey, you could be flying high one minute the next minute the devil wants to wage war send a demon your way send an attack on your mind physical attack whatever the case may be and now you're in a bad mood right it switches really quick you see and this can give off the idea that you are experiencing mental health issues or physical health issues and you can go to the doctor and there won't be any explanation that lets you know that it's spiritually rooted this is the goal of the enemy this is the goal of these witches is to get you outside of yourself in a place of acting out in the warfare so you make unwise decisions such as checking yourself into a hospital trying to come up with physical fixes smoking weed drinking having sex partying numbing yourself becoming a busybody so you don't have to experience the warfare we all go through the warfare right those who are chosen those who have spiritual gifts you know what i'm talking about we're all going to experience it we should not turn to worldly fixes we should always turn back to the word of god put on the full armor of god for we wrestle not against flesh and blood right ephesians 6 11 through 19 go read it today if you haven't people won't understand you man they won't understand you when you're experiencing spiritual attacks until they experience it themselves you can tell them that you're experiencing spiritual warfare the devil's waging war on you your flesh is acting up right you're having mental warfare whatever battles you're going through you can try it over and over again to explain to somebody who is carnally minded and they will not get what you're saying even if they hear you out they won't be able to comprehend it completely because you're going through a private war with the most high right it's called the private war of a saint a lot of people see things on the surface and they just pass a perception and a judgment automatically a lot of all of us are guilty of that as humans but we got to understand this spiritual war is real you're gonna be misunderstood because of it chosen one you're gonna be tested right god may allow you to experience it experience this stuff so not only you can draw closer to him but you can learn to use discernment even through the midst of warfare because warfare goes on a lot people don't understand how much warfare affects you know america as a whole this whole country this whole you know planet every single day people don't understand how much it affects people people get deemed and labeled certain things due to a witchcraft attack due to the devil attacking them due to demons and then they get deemed and labeled something for the rest of their life due to them being attacked for their faith or due to them being attacked for trying to chase after God. You can be classified as bipolar. You could be classified as schizophrenic. You could be classified as crazy. Meanwhile, the whole time it's somebody doing witchcraft on you behind the scenes. First, the devil himself or your flesh acting up and it's spiritually rooted. It has nothing to do with the physical conditions because when you are not experiencing an attack, you're a whole different person. You're joyous, you're happy, you're light, you're positive, you're upbeat, you're ready to, you know, get things done. You kind of are um, more extroverted if you are naturally introverted. If you not are not experiencing warfare, it's night and day. This can make you, you know, come off a certain way to folks. Oh, he's bipolar, she's bipolar, this and that. But at the end of the day, it's really just spiritual warfare going on. And this is why you're going to be misunderstood a lot of the time. So I was wondering, until that person that's passing judgment on you, Whoever that narcissist is in your life, whoever that enemy is in your life, let them continue to pass judgment on you, man, until they actually experience a spiritual attack. And we pray that they never have to. This is no joke. We don't want anybody to go through the spiritual attacks we've had to face. I know I don't. But until somebody actually experiences it, like I said, until you try the food, until you taste the drink, until you actually get an understanding and a gist that this stuff is real and it's happening and it causes um, a lot of things to change in your life, a lot of things to happen in your life you're not going to be able to explain this to a carnally minded person, right? I have a couple of scriptures I want to leave off in this video. 1 Corinthians 2 and 14 says, But the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him, nor can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. This is what I was telling you about. If you're trying to explain spiritual warfare to somebody who's carnally minded, the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God. So if you're trying to explain spiritual warfare, if you're trying to explain to somebody that, hey, you are the heaviness or you're feeling witchcraft or you're feeling your flesh acting up or you feel um, overly tempted, fatigued, depressed, tired, whatever the case may be, the natural person, the natural man, the carnal minded person, the everyday, right, is not going to understand what you're talking about. Ephesians 6, 11 through 12, put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places.
spiritual warfare 101 right put on the whole armor of god does this mean that you literally go out and you buy a night suit no you put on the whole armor of god in the spirit right like spiritual warfare is real putting on the armor of god is real pleading the blood of christ is real all these things are real right these are spiritual transactions happening and people can just see it on the surface a lot of people are physical a lot of people are carnal they're not going to understand what you're talking about when you talk about going through a warfare attack putting on the whole armor of God. 2 Corinthians 10 and 4, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Yes, man. When you're pulling strongholds out of your life, when you're allowing God to rip things out of you, to transform you, to change you, if you're in a constant place of reflection and repentance, God's going to have to pull some strongholds out of you and it's going to get ugly. The devil's going to wage war on you. Your flesh is going to wage war on you. The kingdom of darkness is going to wage war on you. These marine kingdom agents out here, man. These witches and these warlocks, these miserable folks who tend to flock to people who are doing something great a lot of the times want to see you miserable, want to see version of you while you're going through an attack. They want, they like the version of you while you are experiencing hardship and struggle in life, whether that's mentally, physically, spiritually. People love that. They love to see that because they can relate. Your job as the chosen one, as the person who is set apart, called, to do something mighty and great is to simply endure through the attacks, see it for what it is, do not cast your pearls before swine, and know that you're not alone, okay? You could be experiencing this stuff and feel like you're alone. You could feel like, man, people think I'm this and I'm that way because I'm being attacked by the enemy, because my flesh is um, acting up, because I have witchcraft being done on me. And people can come up with every conclusion under the sun, trust me, especially for my men out there, like I said. And to be looked down upon by other men, right? These alpha-minded men out here, these red pill men, these people who are still asleep, they think they're awake, they're gonna pass judgment on you because they don't understand what a real spiritual attack feels like or looks like. They don't understand what it means to actually encounter a demon firsthand, or what it feels like to go through a graveyard ritual, a sex magic ritual, so many different areas that you have gone through chosen one that people are not going to be able to comprehend so your job is to not cast your pearls before swine you plant seeds you let people know what you're going through if they don't want to believe you if they want to say you're coming up with excuses you're crazy you're lazy you're depressed at the end of the day all that matters is god knows what you're experiencing he, and he knows what you're going through he understands your heart and he will protect you make sure you stay in a place of prayer and obedience you shine and bright you know if you're experiencing an attack right now you will get through it you will come out the other side there will be a um, brighter day just make sure you're praying, right? All throughout the day, all throughout the night, bind this stuff up, walk with authority, man. Walk with authority in Christ and, and just know that, you know, through these attacks, through these tests, through these temptations, God's building your character. He's building your trust. He's building your faith. He's showing you that you can do all things through him, no matter what you have to face or endure and allow people to pass the judgment they're gonna pass, man. The carnal mind is never going to be able to comprehend the things of the spirit. If you made it to the end of the video, I love you. Smash the like button. Say a prayer for your brothers out there, man. Say a prayer for your sisters. Say a prayer for yourself. You already know what it is. Until next time, man, it's your boy, Justice.